guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Jessica. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, which you totally should, it's cute, calm, and clean. I always have it written on the screen here. Go follow me over there. I am over there every single day. You get some behind the scenes. I share things that I bought, like shopping hauls. I share cooking, like what I'm making for dinner, pictures, all kinds of stuff. I'm really able to interact with you guys a lot more over there. So if you're not following me, go ahead and follow me over there. But for those of you who do follow me, you already know what this video is. So I'm really excited to share with you guys that I did get a new Louis Vuitton purse. So I'm going to be showing you guys that bag. And I'm also switching from my old bag into the new one. So I'm going to kind of show you what all's in my bag as I switch over. So you're going to see all the trash and everything. I have not went through that thing it's probably gross, but you're going to see everything that's in my bag. And when I switch it into the new, I'm going to show you my new one. And I'm going to talk about where I purchased it from and all of the details about that. So if you're interested in seeing this video, then just keep on watching. All right. So this is my new Louis Vuitton. This is the delightful MM and the MM stands for the size. So they have PM, MM, and I want to say GM maybe. The PM size is going to be like the smaller size and then the MM is the medium. So this is like the medium size, but it is a very large handbag if you can't tell on camera. And then the inside is the pretty rose pink. I'm pretty sure with this bag they had two different colors of inside that you could get. There was just like a regular cream color, I think, and then there was the pink. I liked the pink. But, yeah, this is my bag. I love it. I love how it's big. I love the wide shoulder strap. I like shoulder bags, and I like thick straps because they're more comfortable. And then on the side here, it just has this Louis Vuitton, like, um, I guess for your keys or something. I'm going to put my keys in it and then inside the bag. And then it does not have a zipper or anything like that, but it does clip closed right here. And then on the inside, it's just big and open and then it has a zipper pocket in the back and that's about it it has a little uh, clip here for you to clip your keys onto there as well but I'm gonna tell you guys like where I bought this and all the details about that first okay so I don't know why but whenever I am looking at Louis Vuitton's I am always drawn to the ones that are discontinued and I knew I wanted the delightful MM and when I looked on the website it said to call them. So I called it like it wouldn't let you order it or put it in your card or anything. So I did. I called and he was like, yeah, the reason that it says that is because it looks like we're discontinuing that style. So I was so sad because I really had my heart set on that style. I'd done my research. I looked up YouTube videos and I just knew that that's what I really wanted. So the next thing I did, I went over to Poshmark. I have a Poshmark closet. I love selling on there and I have bought on their handbags before. I bought a Michael Kors and it was a great experience. The bag is beautiful, but I had never bought in like a really high end bag on there. So I was a little bit nervous about it, but I went on and I looked and there were so many of this style and they had all the different colors too. They had the regular monogram and then they had the different prints for this bag as well. And some were in really used condition and some were like brand new. This one is basically brand new and I'm going to show you everything that it came with. It came with the receipt, the box, the dust bag, everything. So that is ultimately why I chose this one. Um, also, I feel like she had it priced right. Louis Vuittons really do retain their value. So if I was to go and resell this, as long as I take good care of it, I'm going to get pretty much what I paid out of it if I did, which I don't foresee that happening. But the reason that I highly recommend going on Poshmark and doing it, and I'm not sponsored, I'm not working with them, I just truly... I love Poshmark. I use it in real life. So one of the main reasons that I really like to shop on Poshmark is because they will authenticate any purchase over $500 for free. So the way that it worked was I bought this bag. The seller shipped it to Poshmark where they had their professionals go over the bag and make sure that it was 100% authentic. And then once it had their seal of approval, they sent it on to me. So it is 100% guaranteed that when you're buying from Poshmark that you're getting an authentic bag. As long as it's over $500, they will do that for free. The seller that I bought from was so fun and easy to work with. She shipped right away, which was nice because I was really excited. And the whole process is really fast. I was really worried about having Poshmark having to authenticate it. I thought it would take forever, but it really didn't. I think I got, I bought the bag 
on a Thursday, I think, and or maybe I bought it on a Wednesday and I got it on a Monday. So it took less than a week, the whole process, which I don't think was bad at all. And it was free shipping too. So if you're looking to buy a Louis Vuitton, you want pre-loved, check Poshmark because they have tons and tons and tons on there. You're gonna get it authenticated for free, which is nice. And I just had a really great experience. So moving on, I am gonna go ahead and start showing you what's in the old bag and as I put it into the new one. All right, so moving on, I'm just gonna go ahead and start taking everything out of my old bag and putting it into the new one and I'll show you what it all looks like once I get it in there. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what I'm carrying now. This is the Louis that I'm carrying now. It is plum full. I have so much junk in here. Um, I was vlogging today. I'm doing another week in the life, so my vlogging camera is in there. I went and got my nails done. I vlogged that. Um, let's see. This is the, I think you pronounce it Galleria. Galleria? Galleria? I don't know. I, I can't talk right. You guys know that. It is discontinued. It has been discontinued for years and years. I also got this bag pre-loved. I got this probably, I got this six years ago. My husband bought it for me for my birthday. It was my very first one. I'm in love with it. I take really good care of my bags and I probably will keep them forever. But anyways, that's what I'm carrying now. So the first thing is my vlogging camera. This is the Canon G7X Mark II. I have a little tripod that I got from Amazon. The brand is Bo Bauer. It's like worn off. I think the brand is Bauer. I don't really like it that much, so whatever. But I was vlogging today, so I have that in there. And then I'll show you really quick too. My phone was in there. I took it out because I had a message. But this is my phone. I have the iPhone 10s. Max and this is my loopy case. They did not send this to me. I paid for it with my own money, but they did give me a coupon code because I asked them for you guys. And that coupon code is just keep calm and clean. You'll get 10% off. Um, basically you save shipping. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to show you how it came packaged too. So my particular seller had kept all of the things that her bag came in and she shipped it in that. And I thought that was so nice. It was like getting a bag in the mail, brand new from Louis Vuitton, the whole experience was. So I really enjoyed that. But they shipped it in another box to protect this one, obviously. And and another point I want to make I forgot to. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm like all over the place in this video. I hope you guys are staying with me. But another thing I wanted to mention was um, Poshmark did make sure that I had to sign for this. They did not just leave it at my doorstep. They will not leave it. You have to sign for it, which I think is a great added security feature because I would not be happy if they left my Louis Vuitton laying on my front porch. So I did have to sign for it. But anyways, it came shipped in this box. And then when I open it, and this is magnetic closure, this is a really nice box. So when I opened it and it's not nice anymore, but it was when I got it, it was all wrapped in this tissue paper here. And then it has this posh authenticate, um, little whatever on it. <laughs> And it shows whoever authenticated it signed it for me. So it was wrapped in that. And then the bag itself was in the original dust bag. If I can get it. It was in the original dust bag. And then also the box was also wrapped in this Louis Vuitton ribbon, which I thought was really cool. And then she had the original receipt from when she purchased this bag and she sent it to me, which I thought was really nice. So inside the Louis Vuitton envelope and then here is the receipt. Um, okay. Okay. So I'm just going to start pulling stuff out of here. So I have some coupons for Bath and Body Works. That's always a good thing. I have a receipt from somewhere. Statement of services rendered. Oh, this is a receipt from the dentist. Yay, that's always fun. Um, I have my Ashley furniture receipt in here from, I ordered a kitchen table over a month ago. I have the table, I'm still waiting on the chairs. Oh, they're back order. Keep getting pushed awful. I'm so impatient. I don't know how I managed to wait this long, but I have that in there. And then I have my wallet, which I got from Walmart and it was less than 10 bucks. I love it so much. It holds all of my junk and it's held up really well. It is starting to fade in a few places, but for 10 bucks, I'm not going to complain at all. They had a bunch of different prints. I got it in the springtime 
but a lot of you guys went out when you saw that I got this I shared it on Instagram and a lot of you guys went out and got you one or you got one that was like a different print and you guys sent me pictures and it was really fun seeing that so anyways Walmart good old Walmart I got my Louis Vuitton handbag and my good old Walmart <laughs> wallet all right so the next thing is my Huggies wipe case I keep butt wipes in there for the kids we use those for everything I recommend if you are not even a mom I don't care who you are if you carry a bag carry wipes in your bag I use them constantly sticky hands bloody noses getting dirty at the park spilling something anything and everything I have baby wipes on me all the time all right another receipt it looks like yes this is a receipt another receipt that I didn't realize I had in here. It's just dentist stuff. Like, ugh, the dentist. If you follow me on Instagram, that's another thing that you will know about the dentist. I'm having major, major health issues going on. Um, I'm not going to get into it in this video because this is supposed to be fun. But if you follow me over there, then you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I've been to the dentist a lot. And then I just pulled out, <laughs> I just pulled out a pair of Madeline's underwear and I am not going to show those on camera. And I don't know why they're in here, but not only is it a pair of her underwear, but there are Sour Patch Kids stuck to them. So I'm going to show you that part and I'm just going to like hide the rest of the underwear in my hand and show you guys. So there are Sour Patch Kids. Oh, one fell off. Stuck to a pair of my daughter's underwear in my purse. This is real life. See you guys? I didn't stage this. So yeah, my daughter's underwear were in my purse. They're clean, but... And then I have my eyeglass case, which has my eyeglasses. I get asked a lot about my eyeglasses. They're by the brand Hard Candy, and I get them at Walmart. I have two pairs of eyeglasses and then my sunglasses. My sunglasses are in the car. They are prescription and they are by the brand Flower and I get those at Walmart as well in the Vision Center but these are my glasses and I keep them in their case in my purse. Okay next thing is this little pouch by Moody's and this just has all my girly stuff in it. I got it in a pack of pads years and years and years ago and that's what I keep in it. And then I have some gum because you gotta have gum. More wipes with Sour Patch Kids stuck to them. I know some of you are probably cringing because you're like, oh my gosh, this girl's carrying a Louis Vuitton and she's got Sour Patch Kids in there. I know. Trust me. I feel you. I'm with you 100%. And speaking of wipes coming in handy, see, I'm going to use one of these wipes right now. I'm going to wipe off the melted Sour Patch Kids. See, we're good as new. It's like it never happened. I have a grocery list for Walmart in there um some more receipts what is this this is not a receipt vision center probably didn't convenient to start a license after be present with the purchase or deliver all prescription items and be present Monday thank you for choosing Walmart vision center oh huh well that's a receipt for my glasses apparently I never read it more wipes this was a sample I got from Walmart or something it's a Kleenex wet wipe germ removal I think I just got that as a sample so and then I have my growth collaborative hand cream in bergamot orange with moisturizing coconut and rosehip oil I like keeping hand cream in my bag because my hands get so dry all the time especially in the winter I don't love this one I'm going to be honest with you I got this for free when I went to their event and it is really moisturizing I like the product like how it performs but the smell of it isn't my favorite it's very citrusy. It's not bad. Like, I'll definitely use it. And it feels really nice on my hands, but it's not the best smell in the world. Um, okay. So if you watched my last week in the life vlog, and then you saw we went and visited my grandma. And when we went, she had all her jewelry out. And she was insisting that I took a piece of jewelry. So I did. This is the one I picked. I haven't even worn it. I should probably put it on on for this video but I forgot it was in my purse yeah it's still in my purse from when I went and visited her that's so bad I need to take it out and put it up but this is what it looks like it's pretty it's my favorite color and it's special because it's from my grandma so I need to put that up somewhere safe a skittle I should have brought a trash bag in here oh look at that more wipes my keys I have a pen I have some growth and another sour patch kid 
I have a wet brush. I always keep a little hairbrush in my bag because I have hair and my kids have hair and I'm always needing to like brush our hair or something sometimes before we go in somewhere. So I'm going to brush mine. Believe it or not, I brushed my hair right before I filmed this, but I have such fine hair that it always looks like I didn't brush it. So yeah, I always keep a brush in my bag. I have my checkbook in my bag. I have some icebreakers, duo fruit plus cool strawberry mints. Oh gosh, you guys, these Sour Patch Kids. Never again. More Sour Patch Kids. The bag spilled out in there. Oh, they're just everywhere. Okay. I have some Listerine breath strips. I never use those. I don't even know why they're in there. Now, see, now I have hair everywhere. I'm shedding. That was everything for the main compartment. So now I just have the little compartments because I'll show you. In the back of this bag, I just have a compartment like that. So in that, I have some Advil. I always keep some Advil in my bag because my husband is prone to getting headaches and I got to take care of him. So when we're out, I'm always like, oh, I have a headache. Here, let me give you some Advil. Um, a random piece of gum hair ties because Madeline has super long beautiful hair and I I have hair nail clippers I always keep nail clippers in my purse and I can't tell you how many times that these have came in handy I use them to cut off tags I don't even know but nail clippers some more random gum which I think I'm actually gonna stick this gum into this pack even though it didn't come in there my foot's falling asleep sitting like this okay some more trash I always keep like some sort of a little perfume or body spray just because you never know when you might want to freshen up and I have in there the pure grace by philosophy I love the way this smells oh this smells just so clean and good the only thing I hate about the philosophy perfumes is they do not last why do they not last because they smell so good this would be my holy grail perfume if it lasted, but it doesn't. But it's nice for a little touch up. I have dental floss because I'm always getting stuff stuck in my teeth. I have a lens cleaning wipe for my glasses. I have headphones that I can't even use because my phone doesn't take this kind of jack, so I'm actually gonna take that out. Um, I don't, somebody's gonna say you need to get the little toggle thing, and I have it, but I don't know where it is. I think it's in my nightstand. Um, more wipes buffalo wild wings wipes i always grab when we go eat at buffalo wild wings i always grab some of these and stick them on my purse because you yeah, know i like wipes clearly i like wipes um another lens cleaning wipe and then i have we're down to the last few things trash more trash i need to vacuum that thing out I have an extra battery in there because like I said earlier, I am vlogging today. I didn't want to be out and run out of battery. So I have that in there. I have a lighter. I do not smoke. I found this a long time ago and it works perfectly fine. And so I put it in my purse and it's just been there ever since. And I don't even really need a lighter in my purse, but hey, you never know. And I have two lip glosses. I have this one by NYX, the Butter Gloss in Strawberry Parfait, and then I have this Mint and Argan one by Grove Collaborative. This one is my favorite. It smells so good, and it makes your lips, like, tingly. Um, I have this one for if I, I need to add, like, some color, and then I have this one just to moisturize, but I really love this one from Grove Collaborative. I wish that when I do the campaigns with Grove, instead of doing for my existing customers the sponges, I wish they would give you guys a lip gloss because these are so amazing. Okay, so I got everything in my bag. I'm so happy with it. Now, some of you had said, hey, do a purse organization video. And maybe that's something I can do in the future because I really do need to do that in my life. But to be honest with you, this is just how I keep things in my purse. It's really not organized. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like in there, but don't be disappointed because it's not like some beautifully organized bag. Oh, can you see? Can you see? There. See, my mints are falling down. So yeah, <laughs> I just kind of have it all in there. I did hook my keys to the little thing on the side and then in this back pocket, which I realized and I did not know 
just looking at it, but this zipper pocket here is super big. It goes all the way down to the bottom, and I really did like that. Let me see. Let me see if I can open it and show you guys a lot of stuff in there. I don't know. Yeah, you can't really see on camera, but the pocket is really big, and so in that pocket, I put, like, my gum, my pen, my lip gloss, my Advil, all of the, like, personal items, and then in the big pocket, I have my wallet, my wipes, my mints that are being making a bunch of noise, my glasses, my checkbook, you know, all of that good stuff. And then it does have the little thing up here where you can close it if you wanted to. I'm going to now just for the sake. But yeah, that's what it looks like full. And I'll show you what it looks like on maybe a little bit. This is like the size of it in comparison to my body. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I was a little bit all over the place, but that's just life. I'm always all over the place. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you haven't already, I would love to have you be a part of my channel. All of the ladies here are super supportive and wonderful, and I love you guys so much. Oftentimes when I'm reading through the comments, I will see you guys engaging with each other and talking with each other, and it's like, I know this sounds so silly, but this is the truth. When I see that, I feel like y'all, and not, I don't mean this in a degrading sense, so do not take offense to this, but I'm just like kind of thinking out loud here. It's almost like seeing your kids get along. It's like when my girls are getting along, that feeling I get, that warm, ooey gooey feeling you get inside when you see your kids getting along, that's how I feel when I see my subscribers engaging with each other and talking to each other in the comments. It makes me so happy, but <laughs> I don't even know where I was going with that story. But anyways, you guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you so much for all of you that commented on my photo on Instagram when I announced that I got this bag. You guys were so amazing. I even sat there and I showed my husband you guys liking my picture and just all the encouraging things you had to say. You guys are so awesome. You've changed my life. I've said that before, but I really mean it. You've changed my life. You've changed me as a person and I couldn't do this without you guys. But anyways, I'm gonna let you go. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye. Every night I'm going on the grid texting back I want you, hit you up I'm on the other side I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came in way too strong Cannot keep it low